Howdy folks, Brickle Niner here. I'm gonna do a Yabo today. Got myself a new box from Boswell's. Light me up a bowl here, have a smoke and chat for a bit. I haven't done a Yabo with you guys for a while, so actually I've only done one before, but. In my nice messy garage here. It's winter time, so I've got everything stored in here. You guys probably know how that goes, huh? That battle, battle of the garage. At least I can't keep my garage too organized. I've got enough room for my wife's car in here. That's about it. Smoking some uh, Pennsylvania Dutch treat. Boswell's Pennsylvania Dutch Treat. Nice, very nice, sweet, smooth smoke. A little bit of that cherry flavor. It's, it's, it's quite good. Especially after it sit, sits and ages for a little bit. I think it gets better, sweeter, it smokes, smokes cooler. Well, I've been waiting for this box for over a week now. Boswell is excellent at shipping their packages. <coughs> Three-day priority mail. That's usually how they ship them, but for some reason, uh, well, no, not for some reason. It's the holidays, and uh, the other package got hung up in Pennsylvania for like two days, and then it got hung up in Boise, Idaho for another two days. Then it was Christmas, and then it got here the day after, so it took a, about a week for it to get here, which sucks for people like me because I'm like a tracking Nazi. <laughs> I'm like, where's my box? Why is it still there? How come they haven't put it on the next truck? <laughs> yeah, anyways. <laughs> Patience is not one of my virtues. <laughs> There it goes. They always uh, tape their packages very, very well, as you can see. Which is okay. It came with one dent in the box. Better than, since it was so late, I was kind of worried. But that, with the packaging, it's pretty fine. Let's see what the magic box contains. Some packing paper. Yes. Oh, look at this. A little Christmas present. Actually, it's not a Christmas present. I know what's in here. Hey, bud. What do you need, bud? my son. He's got to come out here and see what I'm doing. What do you need, son? I want it. No. Not right now. Maybe later. Can you get it later? Maybe. Like just one dollar. I know. Can I get it later? Got my son a, and my daughter a Kindle for Christmas and they are just uh, kindled out. They downloading every game they can and now he wants to buy games and I'm gonna get in trouble <laughs> it's pretty cold in my garage well, it's pretty cold here in Idaho We had a really nice white Christmas. We got about six inches of snow Christmas day. I'm sitting here next to my my little, my Mr. Heater. Down here on my legs, keep my legs warm. My garage. 
One thing nice about when it gets cold in winter, my garage acts like a big walk-in cooler. I can put my beer out here and drinks and leftover food from the holidays. <laughs> and your garage is like, you know, 35 degrees. It's, it's basically a walk-in refrigerator. Anyways, back to the present. Here we go. I can feel what it is inside, so I know it's not a present. But it is something I ordered. And I had ordered these before, and they were just lovely. And very impressed, so I ordered another ten of them right here. These are the Boswell cigars they started selling. And they have somebody make for them or something like that. I can't remember what JM told me, but... Uh, these are excellent. This is the Robusto Natural. Uh, these are just a good smoking cigar. Rolled really nice. Great flavor. Especially in the uh, second third of the cigar. Just, just burns great. Yeah. Just a nice. This is a nice mild, mild cigar here with a good Connecticut wrapper on it. And, uh, Ten of them for like 20 something bucks. 27 bucks. I mean, it's really a good quality cigar, and for 10 cigars, that's pretty good. It's like cigar international prices, huh? I got another another uh, package of cigars coming that I ordered from Cigar International. Some of the Drew Estate Isle de Souls. So those are pretty good. I got a box of those coming. All right. So let's see here. I got me some of my favorite tobacco right here. No bite delight. Boswell's, four ounces of that. That should hold me over for a while. And my free sample got me an ounce of Northwoods. Mm -hmm. This will be a good. I don't know if I'm going to break in my new pipe with. Oh man, this stuff is just lovely. With uh, with Northwoods or what? But definitely, I got I had to get me some Northwoods. Probably smoke more of that, but I have a whole jar of uh, countryside in my in my cupboard there. All right, last but not least in the awesome Boswell box is a magic little box. And we shall see what this is. This is actually pipe number twenty-one. On one of their last um, from one of their, like uh, the, the week before Christmas let me have a smoke here while we yeah this is so smooth so sweet. All right, should we see the stem first? Why not, huh? Here's the stem. You go inside, bud. Yep, simple black stem, but it goes with something not so simple in this nice bag here. Out will come a piece of art. Large. There's all of the natural. Yeah, that thing is beautiful. Fits in the hands great. <laughs> that is a big relaxer right there. 
kick them back on the front porch next to the campfire I can't believe how good these things always these always draw so good the gauge of the hole that they drill it's just it's just an excellent excellent draw I saw the green on this pipe and I just fell in love and I actually have a pipe that's kind of like a brother to this pipe and it's my last uh, pipe I got it's a um Paul style pipe I'll get it out of the cupboard here so it's kind of like its brother in a way and I really enjoyed the green on both of these guys and they're both actually they're both larges actually one's a little darker wood but it's got that good tiger striping green going across it like that and this is a, a modified umpal and I can't remember what this let me see here I can't remember what they titled this one be here. it wasn't an umpal even though it is kind of an umpal body let me say pipe number 21 nice deep pole Love the natural briar backing on that. I just think that is beautiful. Definitely a steeper angle on the umpal, more straight up. But they are kind of like brothers, two big sitters. They look like a walrus. <laughs> Oh shit. It's like you're goofing off. It's okay. It's okay. Okay, no more of that. See, I didn't have my bit in there and it had less direction. The thing slipped right out of my mouth. This one has a soft bit on it, so this one doesn't. Whew, that's right. I've dropped my other, my church warden, off my friend's uh, deck. <laughs> This is my Boswell Church Warden up there. Yeah, I dropped it off the deck. It only has a small little ding in the bottom of it. Didn't didn't even hurt it, so that was nice. Well, that will segue into... I just ordered me a, a Dagner Pipes poker. Not this poker, but I ordered their, uh, their basic one. One without the gold rings, so I can take it to work. And uh, the blue collar one. The brown, blue collar, do a yab over that one when I get it. It should be here, hopefully, hopefully uh, next week. Uh, yeah, anyways, got that so I can uh, take it to work along with this one and uh, at least have a poker to rotate with this one. This is a ch uh, kind of a cheapo poker I got from Amazon. I don't know if any of you guys saw it on there, but it was like 40 bucks or something like that. But it smokes really good. I modified it. It was a lot darker, had a lot more finish on it, and I, the finish started like scratching off and rubbing off so I just went ahead and just finished taking it off and then I kinda sanded the outside down and got all that that wood look to it actually it looks better like this cleaned up the ring around the bottom and the ring around the stem right here cause that was all coated and finish yeah so it actually turned out better anyways yeah my Dagner pipes will be here and I'll have me another pipe to bring to work it's a lot easier to maneuver your head around and, sh and smoke a poker than it is something that's hanging, you know. Well, you couldn't take your large. This isn't a work pipe, no. This is a sitting back relaxing pipe. I don't have my... Oh yeah, here it is. Here's my apple. This is another... My Boswell Beauties here, but... I took this to work with me one day. Because I needed to rotate out my poker. And yeah, just you can't turn your head and do stuff with it very much. It's, this is just still more of a relaxing pipe. I like to smoke this one at barbecuing in the summertime. Kicking back on the grill, cooking some big steaks or some juicy hamburgers.
Well, of course, the Boswell always, always come with a brand new set of pipe cleaners and a new pipe tool and a good box of matches. And uh, yeah. There it is, guys. Sorry I dropped it. <laughs> oh, well, at least it made some drama for the video, right? Can't wait to break this puppy in. I've barely got this one broke into. This one's still brand new, so I still need to... I've only smoked like two bowls out of this one, but it's such a deep bowl. I mean, look. Look at that. goes clean up to my finger there. And that's bigger than this whole pipe. So, I mean, that's the depth of this bowl. At least, you know. Uh, anyways, it's a good deep bowl for kicking back and really shitting down. One of my uh, brothers from the Briar, Diplomat 28, uh, he's a YouTube guy and uh, he's also on Google Plus too. I kind of uh, he got a really beautiful Peterson. I've been telling myself I'm going to get a Peterson for a while, and, and I just every time I get the money to buy a pipe, I end up seeing one on Boswell's I like, and I ordered their pipe. I still need to get a Peterson. I'd like to get one like my uh, my buddy, my buddy's uh, uh, Peterson, that really good, uh, really good uh, Sherlock style, that one. It's a beautiful, beautiful piece he got. Uh, he got the P-Lep. I'm not familiar with the P-Lep at all, so I was asking him how he liked it and everything, so... You'll have to do a video of it with it. Diplomat, see, tell us how you like that P lip. How you like it smoking, so. Anyways, uh, Happy New Year. And uh, drive safe if you're going to party it up. And uh, yeah. Be good to each other. Forgive each other. Love each other. This is Brick One Niner. Over and out.